Okay, guys, welcome to Africa Land. Um, it's my zoo that has every African animal. So this is the first thing you would see on the zoo is the uh, jeep ride. But since they're waiting, I don't want to make us wait. But I'll take us along the trail. Basically, jeep ride goes up and then drives along over all of them. See, drive it along, drives along. It allows you to see every animal in the park. Sort of. I mean, it's it goes up 15 miles an hour, so you might pass them. You might miss things, but goes down, goes through this little loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> and then it stops here so people can get off so that you're at the other end of the park so that you can, you know, walk back to the entrance sort of thing. Or if you continue along, which sucks for these people because it looks like the jeep in front is empty and nobody is trying to get on the ride and these people are stuck there until it leaves. So that'll suck. Um, but yeah, it goes on, goes around, and goes back to the beginning. So it's a nice little round trip around the park. Allows you to see what animals, you know, you can maybe sit there and be like, Ooh, oh my god, I didn't know I was going to see uh, Gemsbok. I can't wait to go see the Gemsboks in their enclosures. And then you'll walk back and check it out. There's the car. And that's how fast it moves. So yeah, it's kind of fast, gets you there, but it'll also allow you to see things. But the special thing about the Jeep ride is the Jeep is the only place you can see one of the animals, and actually, because of that, we're going to go for probably a couple minutes. the sun doesn't okay I'll just go see the animal but yeah if you drive along the Jeep and then you go here there's an enclosure behind the elephants that you can't see from the path you can only see it on the Jeep ride and that is the enclosure for the very 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 shy Okapi so there's the Okapis Look at her run. Yay! And play in the bushes. And I think the male Okapi is over here. See, here comes the Jeep. I think I saw him running around in these trees. Yep. Or wait, was that the male? That was the male. This is the female. And there she is. So there's the Okapis. They're easily stressed out, so I put them back here where they won't be distracted by people. Also, on this ride, you get to go past the elephant cage again and see some more elephants, which are currently the most popular at the par at the zoo, but, you know, it's normal. So, back at the start. Um, here's the bathrooms. Enter into the darkest abyss. Um, <laughs> and then we got right here. Which, they were getting really stressed out when I first built it, so I made the special one-way glass so that they don't see that they're being watched. But there's some aardvarks. You got two aardvarks in this zoo. It used to have, because aardvarks say you can have people walk in there, and there used to be, wow, he looks pissed. Um, there used, you used to be able to walk into the, so does he, why is everybody leaving angry? Oh, well. Um, you used to be able to walk in the aardvark cage, but it was stressing them out, so I stopped allowing it. Maybe that's why they're pissed. And then we got on this side, right here, the African elephants. We'll go follow this guy taking a swim. Ooh, it's 
it's dusk. And it's day again. Because the park isn't open at night, so it just skips the day nighttime. Then, next to the aardvarks, are the wildebeest and water buffalo. So this is a wildebeest, I believe. Hopefully I'm not stupid. Nope, this is a water buffalo. Snacking on some watermelons, I see. Mmm. Oh, sleeping on the watermelons. Yeah, and there's the wildebeest. Ooh, he looks like he got in a fight. So there's our wildebeests. And water buffaloes. And then next door to the wildebeest and water buffalo are the wild dogs. Good puppy. Oh. Ooh, going to sniff the sniff sack. Good for you. And then across from the wild dogs is one where you can go in, but for some reason nobody wants to go in here. I would love to go in this place because it's the giant tortoises. The Aldebaran tortoise. Look at the big guy. So, yeah, but nobody wants to walk in here for some reason, which, whatever. I'm sure the tortoises don't mind. Next up, we've got... Ooh. Ooh, what is it? What is it? It's a Gemsbach! Or Gemsbach, my bad. Or Bongo. Wow, I'm bad at my animals. But I didn't know what an... I didn't even know a bongo was a thing until I played this game, so. <laughs> but there's the bongo. And there's another one. And cute little guys wandering around in their little jungle. Ooh, that one's up close. Oh! There's some people eating hot dogs. And here, the cheetahs. See if we can get one running. Eh. Well, he's taking a nap with his blood pumpkin, or she. I don't know how to tell if it's boy or girl with cheetahs. That is the boy. And girl is running. Girl is running. Come on, let me. Woo! I want to watch her run. So fast I can't even catch it. There we go. Oh, she was running to take a drink. Must have been thirsty, girl. Next. We have... I think next up is going to be the one everybody likes. Yep. And we'll do this enclosure first, since everybody's going to like the one across from it. I mean, I think you'll all like all of them anyway. That's the cheetahs still. Cheetah, cheetah. And in here are Panpaniscus, also known as bonobos. So there's a bonobo. Oh, look at all of them. Oh, they're running after the zookeeper. I hope they don't rip his face off. <laughs> they wouldn't. That's chimpanzees. Bonobos actually go to extreme lengths to avoid confrontation. So, this enclosure. We're going to look at it from the outside first and see what all there are. Cause they've got the signs. No Sheila Opto. But you can see some in the distance. I think you can tell what that those two are. But we've got ostriches, 
We've got the Warthog. We've got Fending Machines. Zebras. Giraffes. And Antelope. I think that's all that's in. Yeah. So we'll try to see which ones are which. First, we'll look at a zebra. Sipping some water. Zebra butt. Next, we'll check out that guy. There's a warthog. Oh, and you can see an ostrich next to him. And a giraffe. So there's both the warthogs taking naps. There's a giraffe sleeping. Ooh, that ostrich is going for a run. Look at the sleepy giraffe. There's our well-rested ostrich who just woke up. And there's the handsome giraffe taking a swim. And last but not least, here's the antelope. Oh, and there's one room. Oh, he's taking a nap, or at least laying down in the grass. So there's my bigger enclosure. It's got all those animals in it. There's the bonobos. Next up, I think. Yep. Mandrills. There's a girl mandrill. Look at her. Being all pretty. If I see the male, we'll go up to him, though, because he's the big one. But the thing with the mandrills is they like to climb these trees, so I don't see them as easily. And I had to be careful, because when you build the trees too close to the monorail thing, or the jeep thing, they jump up there and escape. But where's our other mandrills? Oh, there he is. With his colorful butt. And his little mustache and his blue nose. Look at him run. Go monkey. I just want to see if he's going to climb a tree. Nope, he is going to whatever this is. I'm assuming food of some sort. Okay, so those are the... There's the bonobo bathroom. Right, these are still bonobos, right? Or are they the chimps? Oh no, these are the chimps. So this is the chimp bathroom. Which, I made all the bathrooms have a big enclosure around them so you can walk around the bathroom and it won't block your sight of the monkeys or the animals. But there's our chimp. I'm walking around, being all chimpy. Which means this next enclosure is for Lilu. Although I hear he likes orangutans better now. But see, this is what I was talking about with this game. You saw in the background right there. These two were just grooming each other. Like, they really went all out and, like, made the animals behave like animals, which is cool. Here are the gums box. Hmm. 
native to South Africa. I don't know what the plural of Gemsbach is. I don't know if it's Gemsbach or just Gemsbach. This enclosure is the Niala, I think. Yep, Niala. I'm trying to find the male, because if I recall correctly, he's got horns. Whereas the rest don't. And I think that's the only thing different about boys and girls. Yeah, there's... Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, well, he's napping. We'll leave him alone. Let him take a nap. Wait, that's another girl? Where's the male? I know I had one. Oh, well, if this isn't male, then we'll just give up. Okay. Here he is. Scratching up against the rubbing post. It's a Niala. Next up is one that you can walk into, and it looks like it's pretty popular to walk in. The flamingos. Oh, and there's a baby. Flamingos are the only, one of the few animals I've got in this park that I didn't put on contraceptives because you can have up to 500 flamingos in an enclosure and therefore I'm not worried about them having lots of babies whereas if I had it with like the elephants I don't know what it is about this game but animals breed like crazy if you let them yeah <laughs> There's the flamingos, and it's got a little path you can walk around the entire little pond. And watch the flamingos do flamingo-y stuff. Next up... Are the lemurs. We got ring-tailed and, um... Red-faced. I don't know where any of the reds are, but I'm following them. Ooh, look at his jump. Look at him go. I'm in through wood. Sitting sideways. And then let me check if this one is who I think it is. Nope, that's no Mina. I named one of the ringtails Zabumafu because of Zabumafu. But let's see if we can find a red. Oh, look, you like his rubber duck? That's another ring tailed. Oh. There's the reds. They're sleeping. Taking their naps. So we'll go out. And see who's in here. Oops, I accidentally clicked on it. Ah, uh, this is the one that everybody hates the most. Everybody complains about this enclosure because you can't see them ever because they're always swimming. But I don't care because it's not a zoo for people. It's a zoo for the animals to feel safe. But there's my Nile monitor. There's another one back there. Related to the Komodo dragon. Oh, he's hungry. I'll fix that later. So there was him. Now we've got in here. Did we see the Thompson's Gazelle? And I think the Thompson Gazelle I put with something else. Thompson's Gazelle and Springbok. So first we'll look at you. A Springbok. Pretty girl, huh? And then we got, see if anybody's napping. Wakey, wakey. Oh yeah, they're all in there. Are they all 
Springboks. Nope, these are the Thompson's Gazelle. Okay. Or at least this one is. Oh, and there's one pooping in her bed. That's not a smart thing to do, Missy. There's the male Springbok. He's sleeping too, though. They're all sleeping. Alrighty. Next is... Next is a cutie. In here, somewhere... You know what? Since they're usually hard to find, I'm just going to do the cheap way of finding it. Ah! Uh, or not, because I can't... There's... So you guys don't see this, but there's the thing for my camera saying that it's recording is right there so I can't click on what I needed to. Oh, there they are though. Pygmy hippos! Oh boy, oh god. Oh god, okay, thank you for that show. We loved the little windmill of poop. Oh, luckily your zookeeper was there to clean up after you. Filthy animal. Gosh. Nobody wants to watch you pooping. Ooh. So there's our pygmy hippos. Running right at you, man. In real life, that'd be scary. Although I don't know how violent pygmy hippos are. But we do know how violent these guys are. So this one, you go down and you can look under the water. Which, oof, that water's murky. I want to fix that real quick before I forget. Pew. And we can see this one. There's our pretty hippo swimming underwater. Er, er, er. sleeping but he's a big guy so I wanted to see him oh shoot no 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 I don't want to break the building Next, we've got only a couple more animals, actually. We've got one, two more enclosures, I believe. Yeah, two more. Here's one that would be very popular, except it's at the end of the park, so people haven't gotten a chance to see it yet. Oh, I know what those are. But we got lions. Here's a lioness chilling out. Being pretty. But. I'm trying to find our. Lion. Male because. Well one. He's the cool one. With the big furry mane. And two. It's. Muscarba. Oh. There's him. Eating some meat. Good old Muscarba. Enjoying his dinner. And now... We go on to see more lions eating. Oh boy, they're having a good time. Oh, yummy. But yeah, the lion cage is cool because it's got this big thing. So they can like... Explore. And now we get to see the guys who have been giggling over here. We got some hyenas. Or as Lana calls them, hyenas. I think that's a girl. 
I again don't know the difference between male and female hyenas. That's a female. That's the alpha too. Hyenas are uh, matriarchal, meaning the women are in charge. There's the male. Alright, well, this TV episode length of time <laughs> was all of the animals in my- oh wait, no, it wasn't. We've also got here in the middle of the place with all the food and shops are my um, small enclosures. First one is the Goliath Frog, which, oh my god, he's huge. I didn't really realize how big they were until I saw him in an enclosure earlier. It's a really big frog. Of course, I'm not seeing him now. Aww. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Where is that at? Oh, those are rocks. Where is he? Huh. But they're big. They're big old frogs. Next up, we got the Puff Adder. And then we've got, over here, the Tiger Snail. And over here, is another guy, but I can't remember who. Oh, the, Goli the um, Goliath Beetle or something. But I don't know where he they are either. But yep, yeah, those are, there's my Africa Zoo. Hope you guys enjoyed it.